binomial question two, we're actually going to do these expansions here then. So working with this one to the power of 12, first of all, we have one to the power of 12, and then we're doing 12 choose one, times one to the power of 11, times by the two x to the power of one. Then we're doing 12 choose two, one to the power of 10, 2x to the power of 2. Notice every time there's those two add up to 12, those two add up to 12. I'd stop there because it only asked me to do the first three terms. And so now I'm going to work e out each of these things. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 12 times makes 1. Here I've got tapping that into the calculator if you need to, but I know that's 12 times by 1 times by 2. 12 times 2 is 24. Now I will need to tap that one to the calculator because I'm not sure what that makes, but 12 choose 2, 12 choose 2 gives 66. So we've got 66, I should say 1 there, isn't it? 66 times by 1 times by 2 squared. Um, so 66 times by 4 gives me 264 there, 264 x squared. So there's my first expansion done. It does go on and on, but that's the f all we needed because it only asks us to do the first three terms. Now, let's try the next one. So this one here we're doing to the power of 5. So I've got 1 to the power of 5 plus 5 choose 1. And I've got 1 to the power of 4 and this time I've got minus 3x's to the power of 1. Be careful with that minus. Make sure it's in a bracket there. I've got 5 choose 2, 1 to the power of 3, and minus 3x to the power of 2. Again, noticing all time that these powers add up to 5 each time. Working that out, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 times makes 1. Here I've got 5 times by minus 3, so I've got minus 15 x's here. Uh, 5 choose 2, 5 choose 2 is 10, so I have to check it in the calculator. So I've got 10 here, I've got minus 3 squared there, which is 9, so here I've got 90 x squared. And again, it goes on a bit, but that is the only bit we're being asked to do. I'm going to go on to part D um, now, I'll come back to part C, because part D says I want to multiply all of this by all of this. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do 1 times each of those things. That's okay, isn't it? 1 minus 15x plus 90x squared. Now I'm going to do 24x times by each of these things here then. So that's plus 24x, and then I've got 24 times minus 15, uh, which is 360x squared. And now I've got to do 224 times by 90 as well. 24 times by 90 gives me 2160x cubes. Um, not actually finished yet, have we? Because I've still got to go on and do a bit more to that. As it's, oh, let it say only up to x squared. Oh, it does say only up to x squared. So the only other one I've got to do is this times by that one. I haven't got to do all of those because that will be an x cubed, that will be an x to the 4. So I've got plus 264 x squared. Right, I'm going to ignore those x cubes now. I'm just going to go. So what have I got? I've got a 1 here. I've got minus 15 plus the 24. So I've got plus 9x's. And then putting all of these x squareds together here, I've got a grand total of the x squareds there. Isn't it just minus 6 altogether there then? I think I've got minus 6 x squareds at the end. Yeah, that is it. So uh, the 90 here and the 264 minus the 360 does indeed give minus 6. I just checked that on the calculator. Now, I haven't actually even done part C, have I? So I've got to do C as well. And part C asked us to do 
um, 4 minus x all to the power of 6. And so we're doing 4 to the power of 6 plus 6 choose 1. I've then got 4 to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 1. And then 6 choose 2, 4 to the power of 4 minus x squared. Um, 4 to the power of 6, 4 to the power of 6 is 4096. That we know is 6, don't we? So we've got 6 times 4 to the power of 5 there, which is 6, 1. It's going to be minus, minus 6144x. And then for this bit here, slightly covered there then, isn't it? But I've got 6 choose 2, which is that bit's 15, times by 4 to the power of 4. That's giving me 3840 x squared and it's plus because it was minus minus makes it plus so that's a bit there sorry that's quite a long video isn't it